We spoke with more than a dozen people today, and no matter how old they were or where they're from, they're just not interested in taking a part in this primary this year. The excitement surrounding the Clinton and Trump campaigns has a lot of people wanting to forego heading to the polls Tuesday. People are tired of uh, elections, hearing about it on TV, reading about it. Maria Perez doesn't think her vote will change much. They always say they're going to do something and then they really don't follow through. And while Grant native and student Christian NG says he knows it's important to vote, he'll also be sitting out this time around. As a student, it's really hard to delve into local politics and also study at the same time. Historically, voters pay less attention to off-year elections, something Eyewitness News political analyst David Yonkai says needs to change. These are your neighbors who basically are going to be governing you. And that's very important, and I just don't understand why people don't realize it. Yonkai thinks the hotly contested race for Lackawanna District Attorney between Republican incumbent Shane Scanlon and Republican Jean Tallarico, the former first assistant DA, will drive people to the polls. The winner of this race will face Democrat Mark Powell in November. Another notable race is the contest for school board positions in the Dallas School District, where a failure to reach a deal between teachers and administrators led to a strike late last year. Then there's the Democratic race for Luzerne County Council, where nine candidates are running for five Democratic nominations. I think you're going to see a low turnout. I mean, if we had 20% turnout, that would be a huge victory because there's, there's, there's not a lot of races that people are passionate about. And the five Republicans on the ballot for Luzerne County Council are running unopposed. Other voters we spoke with say one reason they aren't voting is that they feel they're not armed with the information to be able to make an informed decision. Reporting live from your local election headquarters, I'm Crystal Cranmore, Eyewitness News.